All right, looks like the recording's about to start. All right, here we go. No, I don't have a pencil over here. Do you have a dry erase marker and a board? Because you can use that too. Otherwise, Mr. Mill. All right, last question. Mr. Mill. I only have colorful ones, like blue, green, hot pink, light pink, purple. It's a writing utensil, so it can work. Mr. All right, Mill. Ellie, what's your question? One last question. Um, I have a dice. All right, then you can use that too. I have right. an extra one in my OT bag. Okay, that's fine. You can use that too. All right. I want to get started, so here we go. Now, I have two pairs of dice here, meaning you will have two options. If you don't like either of these options that I roll, you guys are allowed to do your own thing. So here we go. Roll number one is the head. So let's see what the two options are that we get for this class. All right, we got a four and a two. So a two, as you can see on the presentation board, um, it's kind of like a weird shape like that. And number four, it's kind of like an upside down egg shape like that one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy which one I like best. If you don't like either of those options, again, you can uh, do your own shape. But in order to follow the game, I'm going to try to follow what the dice say. Uh, what the dice say. So that is the shape that um, roll number uh, four gave me. All right, let's do it to the next one. The next one is, let's see, is the antlers. All right, here we go. All right, it looks like I rolled a four. Number four is this type of antlers. And roll number five is really, really curly antlers. Now, here's the thing about this project. If you see the antlers right here, they don't need to be uh, exactly the same. So for me, I'm not going to like draw them in particular. I'm just going to like use a thick marker. And I'm just going to try to do my best to try to make it curve looking like this. And then I'm, I don't have to copy the curves exactly, so I'm just going to kind of make my own curves here. So again, you don't have to copy the worksheet exactly. So that's what I did. So there's one antler, and here's my next one. I'm gonna try to make it look kind of similar, I guess. I think I messed up already though, but that's okay. All right, so those are my antlers for uh, option number five, actually. So I rolled a five, and that's what I did. All right, roll number three are the eyes. Let's see what we get. All right, and again, if you have your own dice, you can uh, use your own options as well. All right, so I rolled a three, and I rolled a four. If I slide these down, you guys can see what the eye options are. So the eye options I got were two circles really close together and uh, kind of like arcs for eyes. So you can do either or if you'd like. And again, if you don't like those options, there's no rule saying against that you can't do your own type of eyes. So that's allowed too. So let me just draw my eyes here there you go and then i'm gonna have eyebrows like that since i have color i might as well use color to make the eyes a little bit different here we are i'm gonna make mine purple all right awesome job um elijah did you have a question i saw your hand being raised no no okay oh, i was just curious all right, uh, roll number four is the type of nose that we get to choose, or they get to choose, I should say. The dice get to choose. All right, I roll a six, which is kind of like an upside down triangle. And then roll number two is like a sideways oval. So either pick one of those, or you could do your own. I think I'm going to do option number six, just kind of like an upside down triangle, like that. And then I think to make it more advanced, I think I'm going to add like maybe like a line on top. There you go. Let's see if that works. I should have probably put the nose a little bit lower, but that's okay. Can I use the bathroom, Mr. Bill? Sure, go ahead. Uh, All right. I'm I'm five, or over five is the mouth. So I'm going to roll these two dice and see what the two options are. All right. Oh, looks like I got two threes. Here we go. All right, there's a different option. So we have a two, which is a tongue sticking out, and option number three, which is looks like a crescent moon. So it looks like the mouth is completely open. All right, and if you guys can't see, um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Here we go, and let me just scroll down. There we are. So if you just like count from the left-hand side, two spaces and three spaces, you guys can see what the options are. 
Um, so for mine, I think I'm just going to do the tongue sticking out probably. And I do have uh, red. So I'll use the red instead. There you go. All right. All right. Roll number six is very, very interesting because there's option number two, which is ears already. Um, my rule is if you want to add ears anyways, you can because it kind of looks weird without ears. But other than that, let's see what we get. So roll number six is titled extras. So here we go. I got a six and a three. So three is a scarf and six is a bow tie. Ooh, okay, those are interesting. Um, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to probably try to do both. Bow on top. Oh, my gosh. This is looking like a really interesting um, reindeer, if you ask me. Uh, and then I'll add a scarf, I guess, in the very bottom. Mr. No, I'm done. Oh, good job. All right. Well, I'm not done yet. Here we go. Stripes. And then here's the other part of the scarf. Here we go. All right. Now. This is the crazy reindeer that we came up with today. I thought it looked pretty interesting to me. Um, tell you what, I can show you guys what the other class made if I didn't show you guys yet. So this was from, I'm going to title it, uh, to uh, Navarre and Boffman Zuckerman. And then this one right here, my, I put my paper over. You guys can see what the other class did. So this one right here. This one is from second grade, uh, Russin and Poole. So as you can see, just from this worksheet that we played with the dice, you can get a couple different options here. So that was pretty cool. All right. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what the other grades did, I can show you guys. So this is the snowman project. Hello, snowman. So this one was 1R. This one right here is Miss Setti's class and Miss Lowe's class. This is kindergarten. This is Miss Manuel, Miss Rinaldi, and lastly, this is uh, Mrs. Ochoa, Miss Demrat's class. So they all did a pretty good job, and I Thank think you guys know. did a good job with the reindeers as well. All right, um, I did see. Know. Um, Isabel, what's your question? Can you show Mrs. Ochoa's class? I am um, coloring my reindeer right now. This is what it turned out to be. Good job. Huh. Isabella, I, I, I just did my own like now. This one, this class right there. This one right there. The one, that one. Yep, that's the one. Then I guess my brother Mario, he did that one. Oh, Mario's your brother. Cool. That's good to know. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera around, and I will also um, unshare the tab so you guys can share our works in a little bit. All right, let me just stop sharing. Here we go. And let me just stop the recording. All right, the time now is 